Hello, 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 hello. Gigi here from Gigi Made It coming to you with part three. Part three of my Stitches East. And today's video is going to be titled The Bagsmith. Okay. Those of you that are following me on Instagram or Facebook saw this picture. I'm going to put it somewhere around here. I saw this picture. I don't know where I found it. I couldn't sleep one night. I don't know if I found it on Pinterest, Facebook, wherever. But I found this picture of these three beautiful women with these super bulky, chunky. One had on scarf. Another was a poncho. Another was red. I fell in love. Okay. And I went on this mad hunt to find the source of these big beautiful just chunky yumminess so found out the company was called Bagsmith okay found their website no problem couldn't find the pattern for the poncho so I searched their website thoroughly I couldn't find what I was looking for I sent them a note on Facebook and they so graciously answered me to tell me that they have patterns on their site so back excuse me back to their site I went only to again not find what I was looking for so when I was on the site for Stitches East is when I saw that they were going to be there imagine my excitement now I'm definitely going if I wasn't sure about going before I'm going because I want that poncho so anyway to make a long story short <laughs> when we got to the market my best friend Teresa was with me she knits and loves yarn as much as I do so we are dangerous with yarn dangerous we need to leave our purses wallets checkbooks we will dig to the bottom of our purse to find pennies <laughs> anyway she had a pattern that she had just purchased which was this coat that was from them as well so we both were very eager to find them at the conference well I spotted them but she forced me to go up and down each row <laughs> she said that way we didn't miss anything and she was right but every time we went past and it was like a break in the, the <laughs> I could see them they was right down the street they was right they was right there she wouldn't let me go <laughs> anyway finally went please enjoy the footage fell in love I bought a bump I got to try on my poncho Teresa learned how to Tunisian crochet from Jean. I fell in love with Becca. And I made my topper. I told her I was coming home to make it. And I did just that. I absolutely love it. Here, let me put it on. Because there is nothing in this world that me, the queen of lazy, loves more than chunky knits, instant gratification. So I love my topper, don't you? Love it, love it, love it. So if you are watching me and saying, oh, Gigi, that's fabulous. I would like to make one myself. Well, go find my friends at The Bagsmith and you tell them that Gigi sent you. Stay tuned for the footage. Now, guys, I'm so excited. Look at the bumps. You know I'm happy, right? You know I'm in heaven. In heaven, in heaven, in heaven. And I'm going to make that poncho tonight. Look at that blanket. Oh, I have a hard time not getting the rug. I know. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That looks beautiful. Isn't that pretty? That right? Is that gorgeous? That is beautiful. And I'm also going to make this beauty right here. Or maybe the cow. I'm not sure. Say hi, Teresa. Hi. No, you were good. Don't don't mind me. That is 
absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God. Look who I found, guys. Remember when I posted this on Instagram? Would you look? Yes, honey. Yes. I'm coming. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm so glad I found you guys. Yeah, hi. How are you? Good. I posted you guys' pictures on my Instagram. Oh, Teresa, yes. That's going to be so sharp in that blue, mommy. Turn around. I'm recording. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay, now wait. Teresa's learning how to Tunisian crochet. And we're here still at the bagsmith. We kind of got stuck here. I will take off. Yeah, I will take off. Then take off too. Okay. All the way down. Tunisian crochet. Chi Chi? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> 